this virtual reality work in five parts is actually the first VR experience that will join the National Collection. The installation is comprised of five virtual reality chapters that run for about five minutes each. Um, and the uh, kind of large scale uh, structural installation that's around here, complete with kind of Dungeons and Dragons floor map as well. Altogether, the journey kind of represents like a, a, a quest. So I take from Jess's drawings and transfer them into video and animation and um, fill in the gaps, I guess. There's, there's full scenes in which I, I myself don't look at because they make me so incredibly uneasy. <laughs> so it's, it's a really strange thing to make something and put it out in the world that you can't actually handle yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we, we weren't going for a safe journey. We definitely wanted to create a sense of danger for people and to create emotional responses in people. Be assured that we're not gonna, we're not out to hurt anyone. We all live in different countries and so for Terminus, um, we, we were both set up with uh, virtual reality headsets in our respective uh, workplaces. So we started meeting up in VR and, you know, instead of like sitting across from each other in Skype, we would meet up in like these galactic training rooms and play space ball while we we're talking about um, the project. And then we'd have access to our computer screen so could like, you know, throw stuff up that we'd been working on in virtual reality. So. Yeah, or we could do walkthroughs of the, the scenes that um, Simon was making in VR, whilst in VR. So there was all these kind of weird layers of reality that were going on. Obviously the technology kind of develops quite rapidly as well. And I know Jess and Simon are really keen to just push this out as far as they, as they can. And I think actually I would go so far as to say this is a contemporary masterpiece. Like this work is just phenomenal. It gives you a real kind of adrenaline rush as well. So it's, it's, it's kind of in another stratosphere really.